Hello friends, welcome to Python programming tutorials. In this class, we are going to discuss about self variable. So, what is a self variable means? A self variable is a default variable or default parameter in all constructors and methods. It can be used to represent current class object. So, that means it is similar to this pointer in C++. So, what is a self variable means? It is a default variable in all the methods and constructors. We discuss about the constructor in next class. Now, we can discuss self with one example. What is the purpose of the self variable? Okay. So, this is the class student. The student class contains two methods. The first method name is set data and another method name is display. So, by using these, we can assign the data, assign data to variables. There are three types of variables in Python. One is instance variable. Second one is static variable. And third one is local variable. Okay. So, instance variables is nothing but you are declaring the variables with the help of self. So those variables we are called as a instance variable. If you are defining the variable so inside the class and outside the method, if I define here a equals to 10, then these type of variables we are called as a static variables. So local variables are, so what are the variables you are defining inside the function? So those we are called as a local variables. We can see in depth in next videos. So this is the self. Okay. So, what is a self variable? So, self is a default variable or default parameter in all methods. So, these are the one method, second method. The first, always the first parameter in the method is self. Either it is a constructor or a method, the first uh, parameter is self. If here I am using the a, then a is also acts as a self only. By default, we are using self. Okay. Now, here, we are creating the two objects. One is S1, another one is S2. So S1 equals to student. So what that means? So S1 is one object. Similarly, S2 is another object. So what does an object mean? It is an instance to a class. Okay. S1 dot set data. 1, 2, 3, 4, Ravi, Pete. That means this function is invoked. This function is invoked. So, what is the SID? 1, 2, 3, 4. S name, Ravi. S qualification, BTEC. Okay. At this point, these are the local variables. Okay. Self.SID. What is the self? It can be easy to represent current class object. What is the current class object? S1. So, self.sid that means sid is an instance variable equals to sid that means this one 1 2 3 4 ok self.s name equals to s name that means ravi s name equals to ravi s qualification equals to ptech ok so these are in s1 so these are the instance variables defining with the help of self okay these these variables define inside a function uh, inside a method similarly s2 yes set data that means yes id equals to 2 3 4 5 now so what is the self now self referencing s2 yes in previous line self referencing s1 yes that is the definition of self it can be used to represent current class object Okay, 2, 3, 4, Ramu, yes name, equals to Ramu, yes qualification equals to mtech. Okay, yes one dot display. So now this function is called, so print student name. Okay, we print this statement on monitor. Self dot SAD. So what is the self? What is the current object? Yes one is the current object. What is the SAD in? Current object 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Similarly, self dot yes name Ravi. So self dot yes qualification B tech. This is the output. Okay. Next yes two dot display. So what is the current object now? Yes two. So yes two it displays two three four five Ramu and M tech. That's it. I hope you all are understand what is the purpose of self. Simply saying, self variable represent current object. So now we can see the execution of program. So uh, the purpose of self variable. So self represents the current object. Here I am creating object A. A equals to sample. How I can assign? How I can access this a comma b means by using self dot a. Okay, we can execute this. So this is the output 10 comma 20. Instead of self, you can use any variable name. Okay. For our convenience, we are using the self. If you are using temp, then also same output. We execute this 10 20. Okay. We see another example. Here, A, B. So, this is also A, B. If I print A, it prints 100. If I print B, it prints 200. Self dot A means it prints 10. Self dot B means it prints 20. So, A dot display. So, the, here, what is the output? 100, 200. 10, 20. We can execute this. Okay. This is about self. We see another example. 